we're heading to the Isle of Dread, and that means dinosaurs. Hello and welcome to the Battling Barrow. Yes, in this video uh, I'm going to be discussing dinosaurs and a cheap way to get them into your tabletop games. Um, you can of course buy dinosaurs from miniature manufacturers but they'll probably be expensive for the money you get. So I found some on Amazon that are like reasonably priced, 15 quid, they fluctuate between 12 and 20 quid. I got mine for 15. Uh, I thought we'd have a look at them. So let's do that now. The dinosaurs come in this clear bag and we'll open it now. Like so, uh, do not open. Oh no, oh no. Oh, that's the end of the video guys. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, can't break the law. Uh, plastic bags are not toys, very sensible device. But yeah, we're gonna open it and we're gonna pull some dinosaurs out. So here we go. I shall pull them out off camera and pull them in. The first one is the most important one, and the reason I've got this set is the Ankylosaurus. Here he is, because there is a very important encounter with a uh, Ankylosaurus. Here we go. It's time to meet some dinosaurs for scale. Um, now. The thing is about toy dinosaurs and the difference between toy dinosaurs and purpose-built models is scale. These dinosaurs are probably wildly out of scale to themselves and to what we want, but if they're close enough, that's good. So yeah, an Ankylosaurus, hopefully what I'll do is I can, if I remember to put a picture up here of that I found on the internet, uh, all rights to the person who made this picture. Uh, the scale, it's not too bad. I don't think that is too bad comparatively. So that is the Ankylosaurus. Let's have a look at it, the detail. Um, I thought I might be apparent to do a lot of painting on these, but I'm okay with them. They look okay. That is a nice paint job. Um, there is an unfortunate join line here. I don't think I can do anything about that with green stuff without having to repaint it all. So I'm not going to bother. I'm not even going to bother putting these on the bases. The only thing I'm probably not too sure of is the underneath white, but ho-hum. I might just paint a little bit of flesh into the inside of his mouth. Uh, and that is about it, really. So that is the Ankylosaurus. First dinosaur, great. Uh, important dinosaur, perfect. So uh, Stegosaurus is going to come out next. Uh, and again, our lovely... Uh, paint sculpt. Uh, they're hard plastic, should point this out, but they are hollow, so you could squeeze them. Uh, and they're quite fairly light, really, but not too light. They're going to get knocked about. Uh, paint job is great. And again, I don't need to do anything with this one. This one totally don't need to do anything else. I might look in pictures of, I say I totally don't need to, I might look at pictures of these bits here, and that's the only thing I can think of that I might need to repaint, potentially. Again, uh, Hugo in scale with him and hopefully again if I remember in the editing to put a picture up if not I've gone crazy but yeah I'd say they're in scale uh, next up this is a Albertosaurus um, this one has two fingers like a Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, but it's not T-Rex. I think back in the day, if I bought this in the shop as a kid, I'd have just thought this was a T-Rex when I was a kid. Again, uh, I might pink out the top part of his mouth there. Uh, now, in what I'm planning to run this for in Isle of Dread, don't need one of these, uh, it doesn't exist. So what I might do is turn this into a Ceratosaurus, which it does have, which is similar looking to this. Ignore the hands, I guess. Just has a few horns up there little horn so I might green stuff that again ignoring that the paint job perfect I think what I might do is you yeah, add them in and this might I won't say this for every dinosaur but sometimes the teeth maybe not as well painted as I like so I'll do that eyes I'm just leaving those this lovely gradient here so yeah perfect so this will be a ceratosaurus just some green stuff stuck on its nose next up is 
the Allosaurus. Again, this is a dinosaur that is used in uh, Isle of Dread, so that is great. Uh, scale, I suppose we should do a scale for the Ceratosaurus. There we go, scale for the Allosaurus. So it does seem nice and big and threatening for players. Um, teeth, tongue, most of these the detail, I'm going to add a little bit of paint job in the mouth area and that'll be about it for them. Um, yeah, cool, like that over there. Oh, next up, T-Rex. Um, this is T-Rex here, uh, looking very much like uh, um, you would expect a T-Rex to do. His mouth, more, way more detailed, probably won't need to paint that, you know, it's got the pink inside. I might flesh wash it over just to see and uh, maybe pick out his talons, two fingers. That is his scout. Is he too small? I don't know. He's still going to prove pro provide a threat to them. Um, all these sort of upright dinosaurs, all similar size. Cool. So that is a T Rex. Hugo is getting his wits scared out of him today. So let's put out something a bit more <laughs> friendly. And that is Triceratops. And again, it's always going to be in the mouth and the claws, fingernails, the actual bo main body paintwork, beautiful. Don't need to do anything with it. So uh, loving the scale of that. Okay, this is probably the first egregious, real bad um, scale. Uh, this is a Brachiosaurus. I'll be using it as a Brontosaurus in my game. But this is really small. This should be about three times bigger, but it will get the job done if we encounter one. This is even probably out of scale to other dinosaurs. It should be you know, massive. So, yeah, it is what it is. So, I think this would be something again. Well, I keep saying again and mention it teeth and toenails are going to be the only things I'm going to be really painting on these. A bit of conversion work for my Ceratosaurus. Okay, next we're going to go to a Pachyoceralosaurus. Pachy, Pachy, so yeah, yeah, one of these. Um, what I shall be instantly doing is sorting that bone. It looks you know, this, I'm going to be painting this bleach bone, that and that, picking out his teeth while I'm painting because this looks like he is a Jewish and he's got a, uh, I forget what they're called, um, please remind me in the comments down below, a, not Hanukkah, um, ah, that, that, the caps they wear, um, hmm, yeah, but cool, uh, and just scout for Hugo. Yeah, these dinosaurs are great. I mean, super, super, super pleased with them. Okay, let's get, let's crack on. Uh, Plesiosaurus, perfect for some nautical encounters. Again, a dinosaur that is in Isle of Dread. This isn't in Isle of Dread, but there are some uh, upright uh, herbivore dinosaurs, and this will just be I'll just roll that into those. There are three sort of, of these type of dinosaurs in the set, and that's what they will represent. Plesiosaurus is in the Isle of Dread, and I shall be also using him if ever I run some other modules with a sort of Nessie type dinosaur. Great sculpt. Um, absolutely don't need to do anything with this. Um, the only thing I can think of that I'd like to do is maybe get some dripping water effects over his head. Who knows, I might not get that done for this video. Uh, on keeping in with the nautical theme, uh, we have a uh, ply Pliosaurus, so a big dinosaur whale thing uh, that could looks like he could swallow Hugo whole. Wouldn't want to meet one of those. I should point out this isn't a Plesiosaurus, uh, technically um, it's a Dactylosaurus, uh, according to the set, but Plesiosaurus for me. Uh, yeah, so this is another thing that we can encounter on the ship, or on a boat, or in the waters, perfect. And the last two are the aforementioned, and going to be rolled into the herbivores that are in Isle of Dread. There's a herbivore, which I forget what it's called. Uh, 
So let's have a look at this one first. This is a Parasaurolophalophalopodos, one of those. Uh, so it's a sort of an upright one that's sort of walking on his hind legs. Cool. But yeah, scale here you go. Super pleased with these because there is almost next to no real painting work to do with it. Paint job, I wasn't expecting it to look that good. I think the worst one for me is this last one. Um, I didn't pick it last for this reason. It's one where it's probably going to need a lot of work. This is the Baryonyx. Uh, I'm going to use this again as that uh, herbivore type dinosaur, even though it's got teeth. I'll paint those in. The horns, I don't know. It's all. I'll probably paint those in. The eyes, I will probably give those a little bit of white around there. It's just a bit yellow. It seems like this one they got a bit bored of. It's a bit yellow just with a bit of dusting on its back, and that's it. Feet are chunky. I guess the dinosaur itself has chunky feet. And this is Hugo in scale with him. So, for the most part, teeth and toes will be getting a uh, paint job. A bit of work on him, but I'm not probably going to spend too much time on him just because he isn't really in Isle of Dread, background dinosaur. But yeah, here we have some dinosaurs. That you could just use straight out like this. I shall be doing a bit of work on them. Um, so the only one that really needs stuff added to it is this. So that is probably what I do first, and then we'll paint them. So for this, I'm gonna knock up some green stuff. This is just a two-part epoxy uh, type thing uh, if you're in a gaming uh, the hobby you know what green stuff is um, okay so it seems to have a central one on its nose and then two big one in the top front of its nose and two smaller ones either side either side if I can sort of see that too that's what I'm gonna go for so let's work on the big one first into some sort of horn. Probably gonna sculpt it in place and then if it falls off glue it on but soft bone pattern in there. Smaller ones either side. And that sort of time. Some slides. In the painting, these will, of course, just be bleach boned. Uh, I was thinking about 
I don't know if I'll be able to get the the paint in. I was thinking of paint to match. Uh, just adding in. Full fingers. And that'd be amazing. It's just to make sure people don't think it is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt this. It's with the leftover green stuff. Let's see, it seems to have four. So, four fingers. Hopefully, I can at least try and blend them in. I'm not even too sure what color this would be. Oh, it's obviously green. But what color it would be, like paint model wise. Times like this, I wish these were live. So I could ask you and you could answer. But who oh, hum? So there he is. This is my dinosaur that is now a Ceratosaurus or whatever his name is. So yeah, Ceratosaurus. Let's head over to the painting station whilst I am waiting for that to dry and just get some bleach bone and just see how it takes paint. Um, okay, this probably should have undercoated it in black. Uh, it takes paint okay. Probably easier. Oh, yeah, that looked great. Okay. Uh, This will probably take a few coats of those. You can always see that's looking better already. Toes. Okay, so it takes paint okay. And yeah, so giving it a wash with a skeleton horde. Bring out that detail and I've added in the white eyes and he looks way better. Still doesn't stand up well. Yeah, it's gonna stand up well anyway so yeah really happy with that this thing here that I just described as a baryonyx looked in what about looks for a picture of a baryonyx get some colors and they look nothing like this so I don't think this is a baryonyx um, don't know what it is if you know what this is if there's any amateur or even professional paleontologists in uh, watching this let me know what you think this is but yeah, already, just by sorting out those horny bits on top of his head and giving him some white through his eyes and sorting his toes out, he looks better, so I'm happy with that. So if we look at uh, dinosaurs like this one with its mouth open, the Allosaurus, I've just painted some pink flesh of his mouth bits and that looks cool. Uh, Triceratops likewise, has its tongue painted in now and that's what I've really done apart from toes they've all had their toes done um, a T-Rex I sort of washed this is already painted pink by just giving it a wash of flesh wash just to bring it out and the inside of the mouth um, so find that, this thing here I mean this looks great now just his head looks really cool uh, and let's have a look at our so now Ceratosaurus uh, it's not a perfect match but it was a mix of Vallejo Goblin Green which is more olive green than Goblin Green as it were the uh, Warhammer Goblin Green um, mix that in with a bit 
of Desert Yellow from Army Painter. It still doesn't match. I mixed a bit of uh, Bestial Brown from Coat the Arms and got it as close as possible. The horns look good. Really happy with that. I'm um, pinked the inside of its mouth and the side. I might go over with some sort of crimson wash shade just to top there, just to redden that up, I think. Uh, make it look more vicious. Yeah, really happy with that. So that, even though I didn't have a use for this for what the dinosaur world it was, I sort of now do. Uh, okay, and last but not least, this weird looking Ankylosaurus, because it doesn't have a box on its tail, but it is meant to be an Ankylosaurus and has these things on it. Um, I've painted these, picked these out in um, bleach bone. I wasn't going to do that, but I decided to. I'm pleased I did, and I'm just going to give these a flesh wash. Um, flesh wash? Skeletal horde wash. Uh, they're still a bit wet, so I'm letting them dry off. Yeah, overall, I'm really happy with that. So once I've done that, I think we'll have a look at them in their final state. And here they all are, pretty much done in a quick little, I don't know, D scene I made. All painted up, all done, and you know, for like 15 quid, you get getting all this. Um, and I didn't have to do a lot of work. I was expecting to do a lot more work and this video to be a lot more in depth. I mean, painting some toes, horns and teeth some tongues occasionally on this chap this one took the most work with these uh, bits there uh, in Triceratops what I dig was the, these end bits yeah I mean that is it I mean these look spectacularly good uh, yeah enjoyed I thought I won't get used to him but I will now uh, goofy boy here uh, let me know in the comments what he actually is because I say he's a baryonyx but he doesn't look like a baryonyx and the old uh, I don't know why I want to call him a monk but this is a monk dinosaur it's because of the shaved head uh, fryer dinosaur and yeah the water ones they look great they should be a good nice little challenge to players when they go for a little swim yeah these are fantastic and I will leave a link to the ones I got in in the description from Amazon um, yeah let me know what you think on these dinosaurs and one thing I do need to get hold of is a few more is raptors and some Demetrodons Reaper Bones do some raptors I've already got one of theirs I like a mystery bag once off Christmas in the every calendar so I might get some of those sort of raptors but they're Demetrodons I need a few of them for an encounter and it's smaller Demetrodon so uh, I've not found anything suitable so I might do a vid on that if I find one but yeah awesome I mean who doesn't love a dinosaur well that's it for this video guys and until the next one stay safe take care bye bye